as I was saying yesterday, the basis for our, our mindfulness practice, the practice by which we get the mind into concentration, consists of two things, virtue and right view. Virtue is when you stick with the precepts. No killing, no stealing, no illicit sex, no lying, no taking of intoxicants. There are many good reasons why that's a good foundation for good mindfulness practice. One is when you sit down and close your eyes, you can be at peace with yourself. You haven't harmed, you haven't harmed anybody. So you don't have to put up walls inside your mind or justification saying, well, I, I had good reason for breaking those precepts, because that makes the mind dishonest with itself. When the mind is dishonest with itself, it's not going to be able to see anything clearly, gain any really genuine insights. And in holding to the precepts, you have to develop mindfulness and alertness. You keep the precept in mind, and then you're alert to watch what you're doing. And if it's difficult to hold by the precepts, well, you put in the effort. The Buddha didn't say all of his teachings were going to be easy, but he said they are necessary. There's nothing in his teachings that was there just because he wanted it to be there. He saw that this was a necessary part of the path, a necessary part of being a good human being. We look at our culture nowadays and words like nobility and dignity just have disappeared. When was the last time you heard someone's behavior described as dignified or noble? And yet these are the qualities that make us good human beings, it makes human life worthwhile. So it's good to hold to the precepts as an essential part of the practice. And John Lee makes a lot of parallels between the precepts and what you need to develop in concentration. The precept against killing, he says, you remind yourself, don't kill off your good qualities. If something good arises in the mind, you can maintain it. No stealing, you don't go thinking about other people's bad habits, their bad behavior. As he said, their bad behavior is something they tend to be very protective of. So why go stealing it? If you're going to steal other people's goods, steal their good qualities. In other words, qualities that you can see that you don't have in yourself yet, but they're good, and so you want to em emulate them. Precept against illicit sex, where you don't let your mind wander around in sensual fantasies. Precept against lying is when something unskillful comes up in your mind and you don't pretend that it's not there. The precept against intoxication. You don't get intoxicated with your youth or your health or your life. You realize that there is work to be done, and it has to be done by training the mind. So the precepts are an essential, an essential part of the practice. In fact, they're an essential part of being a human being. It's what makes human life worthwhile, the fact that we can say no to our unskillful impulses and yes to things that are dignified and noble, that show compassion and wisdom. So the precepts are not just Sunday school rules, not rules for, just for people to obey because some, someone wanted them to obey. Because the Buddha saw that if you want your life to be happy, if you want this life and going on to the next life to be a happy prospect, you hold by the precepts as basic lowest common denominator. Try not to fall below that. Other people around you may be breaking, breaking the precepts, but their behavior is no excuse for yours. You have to be responsible for yourself, as John Sawat, the founder of the monastery, once said. Each of us has one person we're responsible for, and our problem is that we tend not to be responsible for that person. We go trying to straighten out other people, but we don't straighten out ourselves. We miss out on our opportunity here to maintain our human status and to build on it, to create, to create something better than what we have right now. So take this as the foundation. Make sure your foundation is strong. Then anything that's built on top of that is bound to be lasting. If the foundation is weak or cracked, you can't build much on top of it. The whole thing is going to fall down. So you have to be heedful. <laughs>